Hey everyone, Mark here. Today we are fitting a massive onboard power system into this Transit Custom for one of my clients, Beyond Content. They're a TV and film production company. So while we're waiting for the racking to be delivered, we've had to mark out the areas here to show what space we've got to fit this electrical system. Now we've ordered two of these 200 amp hour lithium ion batteries and they're actually 35 millimeters bigger than spec. They were originally designed by me to go underneath the seat here and they just don't fit. So today I think we're gonna have to fit one in this corner and the other one is eventually gonna be mounted here under the rack when it turns up. So that's why we've done all this marking to know exactly where the racking fits and what space we have left. Right, so we've just been measuring this entire area to work out where the inverters are gonna go. We've got just enough room in this space to create a 55 wide uh, piece of wood, which is gonna be the same materials you use for the floor, which means we can hang these two inverters up here and then the charge units are gonna sit down here just above the battery. That keeps the cable runs really short. So Matt's just gone off to cut the wood and then we can measure it up and see how it fits. We got the board in now. Matt's just chamfered off the edge. So we're just discussing how we're gonna mount this. It's a very hot and sweaty afternoon in the back of this black van in the midday sun, but we've got these beauties up on the wall. The next thing is for us to fit these Orion 12 volt to 12 volt 30 amp chargers. Now what these do, they take power from the vehicle battery when the engine's running and they charge these batteries, a bit like a battery charger you might have at home or in the garage they won't back feed either. So if these batteries get flattened through a day of working, your van battery is still start. There's no back connection. So they only wake up when the engine's running when it senses voltage over about 13 volts. So the next thing we've got to do is to fit these and run the cables around. So all the electrics are fitted, the battery to battery chargers are in there and the proof is in when we're gonna plug this into the system. There's a few things here that you'll see that are only temporary fit because we've gotta fit the racking into the van. Let's see if it works off of Henry. <laughs> Yay! But let's have a look in the back of the van and see what work we've gotta to do today. So you can see from last time, we've got the inverters and batteries here fitted. They were on a temporary fit. They've got to come out today so we can remove the floor. We can then put the racking in for the first time. That's gonna be a temporary fit so we can work out where all the floor bolts and the wall bolts are gonna be. Cabling is in. Yes. Linings are on. Yes. Floor's temporary fitted. So next we'll get the racking unpacked and temporary fit, work out where the holes are, get it all out again, and then we'll have some lunch. Yay. Come on, let's go. Nice. We've got the racking in. We're happy with the position. We've lined it up and measured across. We've marked the floor. Yep. So the next stage for us is to mark the wall out with the wall brackets. Then it's all got to come back out again for us to drill the floor. While the floor's out being drilled, we can work on the electrics, the sighting of the switches, and I can get on and finish the roof vent. Is there anything else I missed? Have a check. We've had the floor out drilled it, put the T-nuts in there. So now we've got to properly fit the floor with the brackets around the outside. And this just ties the floor together. And we've said it before, the beauty of these floors, not only are they nicely laser cut and fit really well, is that because they use bracketry around the outside, we're not drilling into the floor. And the amount of times I've taken out a ply line floor and wheel arch boxes and there's holes in there. Water's gonna get in the holes, it's gonna rust the van quicker. So 
we've gone around the van and drilled all the holes for the brackets that we bent earlier. Now, what we've got to do is put these nut certs in. They're a great way of being able to bolt stuff to the wall. Effectively, what this does is put a thread into the wall. Now that's going to be really secure. So Nick's asked us if we can put a backboard on this desk. There's multiple reasons. It's to mount a TV screen on and we're also going to mount the socket there. This is a custom bit. It's not part of the Sortimo racking, but when you come to white box van, you get what you ask for. Next thing we've got going into the van is this thermal roof lining. These can get incredibly hot, especially black vans. So this thermal lining here will help reduce the temperature inside along with the fan that we fitted in the roof. You see this side, it's got the polyurethane wipe clean. This side, it's got a nice lining reflective. So we're gonna get that up into the van, finish up the wiring, and then we're gonna be putting the inverter and the batteries back in, ready for the racking for the final fit. We're at a stage now where we've got the electrics back in, but what we've done here, Matt's actually made up some boxes to cover in the batteries. We've had to leave plenty of space because there's gonna be a lot of heat generated by this system. Now, this was fitted a few weeks ago now. It's been out on test. Uh, we know for Beyond Content, they've got plenty of power here. So yeah, it's just about a case of connecting it together now, fitting the final switches just before the racking goes back in. So that's it, the Sortimo SL5 bracken's in, the Victron Energy System, 6,000 watts of power's in. Matt's done an amazing job of the carpentry. I'm really looking forward to seeing Beyond Content use this van. Hey everyone, Mark here from White Box and I am here at the Goodwood Revival 2023. And I come back to see a van we fitted out last year. And I'm with the man, Steve. Steve from Beyond Content, it's nice to see you again. Good to see you. And here we are in the van. Like normally, I only ever get to see these vans when we've just fitted them out, whether it be a plumber or electrician, but this was something a little bit different for us. This is a studio on wheels. Tell us a bit more about what you've filled it with. It carries everything. We can have the cameras in there, we can have the tripods in there, the lights in there, we've got the power. So it means that if we are in the field, we can capture stuff. If we're shooting at night, we can power the lights from it. Because we've put such big inverters in there, yeah. we can run our big cinema lights off it, so wow. it's great. But also as well with the boxes, having them all custom fitted out this with everything, beautiful. I can see if kit's missing at the end of the shoot. And this stuff's not cheap either, is it? No, like, no, no, it's, it's got to be safe, it's got to be protected, <laughs> and that's the key thing about it, nothing stays in the van. So within two okay. minutes, we can just clip out the boxes onto the car, wheel it out and it's gone and and it's good i mean we do the 3d visuals so you could actually see what it looks like oh, as well. we changed it three or four times you came up with some suggestions told me that i was wrong on where i wanted stuff from your experience and it just works now and i wouldn't change a thing